Hey guys, here is my video 330. Only 35 more videos left for our 365 day project. I cannot thank each and every one of you enough for tuning in and subscribing and sharing comments. It's just been an absolute joy to be able to connect with uh, so many of you from across the planet and share with all of you um, what I love to do so much. It really, really means the world, so thank you. And I uh, promised you guys yesterday a bit of a more in-depth look at my preparation leading up to the big day, November 4, as I get ready to return to Carnegie Hall. And so I will leave you a few little glimpses of what my day held. Good morning, it's still dark. Time to get going. Rise and shine. In general, Tuesdays are actually my most packed days of the week as I do a lot of teaching at the Manhattan School of Music and especially now it's midterms week so it's extra busy. Uh, so I actually took it easy today. I didn't uh, push myself too much, uh, especially in light of the big run through I had done last night. And so I just uh, let myself relax with some slow reviewing and uh, I thought to actually bring the day to a close for us with some beautiful meditative slow Rachmaninoff uh, from his piano sonata number no. two. This is the lyrical theme from the first movement in which I feel we have a really fascinating combination of two very uh, seemingly distant and different styles. So on the one hand, this um, initial sound we hear you know, these stacks of chords, it's um, uh, definitely, I think, an homage to the Russian Orthodox uh, tradition. They're beautiful um, homophonic sort of chor choral uh, works. On the other hand, we also have certain colorings and harmonic undertones that immediately make me think of blues and Duke Ellington and <laughs> a very, very jazzy kind of a style. So it's so fascinating how eclectic this section is and it's just absolutely magical. So here's a bit of a uh, second theme from the first movement, Rachman of Piano Sonat number two. Thank you guys so much for listening and I will see you tomorrow.